from Tavern on the Green in Central Park, New York. It's the Cube covering Veritas Vision Solution Day. Brought to you by Veritas. We're back at the beautiful Tavern on the Green in the heart of New York City in Central Park. I'm Dave Vellante, and you're watching the Cube, the leader in live tech coverage. We Go out to the events, we extract the signal from the noise. We're here covering the Veritas Solution Days, Veritas Vision. Antenna Matiku is here. He's an enterprise backup and data protection team leader at Teradyne, very experienced practitioner. We love Antenna talking to the customers. So thanks very much for coming on theCUBE. Thank you, thank you for having me. You're very welcome. So talk about your role as the data protection team leader. What does that entail? Yeah, so uh, basically Teradyne has um, data close to 1.5 terabyte that we protect on a day-to-day -day basis and a weekly basis and uh, we have uh, 14 different sites that uh, we protect data so uh, we just you know do backups and uh, recovery and uh, restoration and all that stuff so what are the what are the drivers of your your business that affect the data protection strategy? Yeah, so basically, um, data changes from day to day basis and data grows. And then we have uh, a lot of traits around us that we have to protect the data. So uh, we have to make sure that we are on top of protecting it on a day to day basis and archiving it. So, okay, so one of the challenges obviously is that. Your, your data is not just in one box. That's right. right? That's right. You mentioned 14 sites, terabyte and a half. And, and I presume no, not terabyte, petabyte. Oh, sorry, sorry, petabyte and a half, 1.5 yeah. uh, petabyte. Petabyte, yeah. that's right. Uh, uh, yeah. Terabyte, I got a yeah. terabyte in my backpack. Yeah. Um, so, and that presumably occurred over time, mm -hmm. sprawled o over time. That's right. So, what kind of challenges did that create in terms of your ability to protect your data and keep up with the, the backup windows, the RPO and the RTO requirements? Yeah, yeah. So basically, um, the way the backup has been evolving is that, you know, originally we had uh, tape backup where the capacity of each tape is very small and the data is big and using libraries and tape drives take a long time to do the backup and uh, and also you need you know people in each location to be able to manage libraries and tapes and uh, there are so many factors that affect the day-to-day -day backup mm -hmm. so in combination of all that when you put all that together it's very challenging to protect the data and then uh, slowly to mitigate those kind of problems then we apply disk-based backup and then cloud-based backup which makes it easier and easier so you still use tape, just yes. not for backup, right? Yes, we still use tapes in some locations, but slowly we are growing towards uh, cloud backup and disk-based backup. Uh, so because of you know, still using tape, still using libraries, still using managing multiple locations, using uh, people who are on that location to help us out while the, the team is managing it from remote site, all that is very challenging and complex. So we're here at this, this Veritas Solution Day. The CEO was here uh, uh, earlier. When you sit down with the Veritas executives, you're a big customer. What do, you, what do you tell them? What do you tell them you need? What do you tell them you want? Where, what, what do you tell them in terms of the direction that you want Veritas to go? Yeah, so basically what we want is simplicity on our tape backup, on our backup structure, a strategy. And then also, um, you know, shouldn't be too expensive to protect data. So uh, now the cost of uh, storage is getting cheaper and slowly it's getting cheaper to, to put data on the cloud. But we want to see simplicity, number one. We want to see user-friendly uh, 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 softwares and applications to be able to help us manage the data and visibility to the data that we're managing so that we understand what's dark data and what's live data. And uh, we, want able, we want to be able to uh, see uh, you know, all our environment from a single uh, platform instead of multiple platform. So uh, but the conference today uh, is, is showing us that kind of roadmap that things are getting integrated and uh, the visibility is, is coming and the cost is coming down much, much better. So down the road, and we can see that we're going to be able to manage 
it's much better than what you've been, how they've been managing it so far. So Antenna, you're one of Veritas's 50,000 customers. As yes. you well know, there's a lot of startups in this business. There's a lot of competition. It's a big market, a lot of money pouring in. So you must be, the vendors must be knocking down your door to try to try to win your business. Yeah. So how do you evaluate that? You, you come to a session like this, you hear some roadmap items. Uh, we were talking to a customer earlier and, and he was saying, he, you know, they don't really want to migrate if they don't have to. You obviously, you have an affinity with, with Veritas, but what kinds of things do you evaluate? Um, are, you, are you thinking about changing your backup approach? Uh, or even your backup vendor? How do you evaluate those decisions? Yeah, I mean, obviously we always have to check and uh, see where we should go in terms of protecting our data and we have to evaluate our strategy. So, uh, so far Veritas has been uh, one of uh, the great companies that we've been working with and we don't see any uh, plan of you know, moving away from Veritas, but there are so many other companies that are coming that are simpler and that uh, provide much better flexibility. So uh, if those companies work out, we'll see how it goes. But as of today, uh, the Veritas has been very good for us. And we've been working with Veritas for a long time, uh, at least as long as I've been working with Teradyne. So, but we'll see how it goes. The so the, there's, there's the promise of 8.1.2 yeah. is to, to deliver to you the simplicity that you're demanding. Right. Where are you today in terms of release? Yeah, so uh, right now we are on 8.1.1. Okay. So what I have heard on 8.1.2 is uh, incredible. Uh, basically, it's going to give us a lot of uh, capabilities that uh, we are doing outside of 8.1.1, uh, uh, which is manual, like... Uh, Taking uh, like uh, upgrading our clients and um, being able to see all our uh, uh, clients and master servers from one location, all that integration is coming. So uh, I I'm very excited about it, that one, that two, and um, I can't wait to go back and start using it. When so. you have to go from 8.1.1 to 8.1.2, can you describe what that's like, what the planning is like, what, what, what you have to do? To get there how much is involved yeah so i mean so you're gonna have to go and uh, deploy if that one dot two on the master server and uh, that is going to give you the capability to be able to uh, push it to other servers as well but before if that one dot one then we have to go to each master server and push it which is which was very time consuming and also uh, we have over 400 clients that uh, we have to use something else outside of net backup to be able to upgrade but now we can be able to use 8.1.2 to be able to upgrade all those clients from 8.1.2 mm. and and you referenced earlier cloud you, you use multiple clouds i presume like most companies and SaaS is, is in there as well yeah so we just started using cloud we still are using uh, the old-fashioned way which is tape and disk on some most of our locations but right now we just deployed Azure Cloud using a Net Backup Catalyst server, and that's working out very well. It's working out very well, and it's making our life much simpler and much better. So we see ourselves moving towards that direction. You like the cloud, okay? So, yeah. so uh, we joke. You, do you get your weekends back? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Actually, the you know people who support it from the field offices. Uh, now they get their weekend back because <laughs> they are the one who helped us out while we are supporting it from Boston. So, so you're using Azure, you said. Yeah. Are you a Microsoft shop predominantly? or? Uh, no, this is just a beginning, but uh, we are open uh, on AWS and other cloud providers as well. Okay, so, so it's not... Azure wasn't selected because you had a big Microsoft install base. It was more for the capabilities of the infrastructure that you went through. Yes, yes. But we are very flexible and we are open to see other providers as well. And uh, NetBackup provides, gives you the capability to use other providers as well. So, so traditionally, the backup admin was somebody to whom pretty much anybody had to go. The application guys had to go, the database people, the lines of business, if they wanted to protect their data, that sort of group or that individual would would really be the the gatekeeper, if you will. With the cloud, there's a move towards self-service. Now, what do you think about that, and how, how does that fit with your strategy? Is that something that you're aggressively promoting? How do you protect the corporation 
uh, from you know anomalous behavior or you know non-compliance and things like that. Talk about the trend towards self-service and how that role of the back ad, backup admin is evolving. Yeah, so I mean the role of the backup admin is, is very complex even before, but now because of self-serving, uh, self-service is uh, available, then the database admins or the virtual team can be able to manage uh, their own backups from their side. Uh, but still, uh, backup admins have to be able to manage it in a way that uh, fits according to the strategy that we want uh, the organization to run the backups. So still, the, the role of the backup admins is now more complex and it's not only in one place doing one thing, but in multiple, uh, working with multiple team, allowing other people to have the visibility and the control while the backup admins manage it uh, from, the, from behind. So you, you've been with Teradyne almost two decades, and so you, yeah. you, you remember the days when backup was just always an afterthought. It still is in a lot of applications, by the yeah. way. Uh, but increasingly with things like DevOps, the application developers are getting more involved in, in, in essentially making infrastructure programmable and building in security, building in data protection. Yeah. Have you seen that trend hit your company, and where do you see that going? Yeah, so say it again. Sorry. Yeah, so specifically with yeah. regard to uh, building data protection in from the beginning as yeah. opposed to bolting it on at the end. Yeah, and yeah. Is, is that something that you guys are able to do with your, your developers and your DevOps teams? Yes, yes. So right now, I mean, protecting the data is, uh, is very strategic and, um, and, and uh, the approach is not just, you know, taking the data and putting it somewhere and forgetting it about it, forget, for, forget about it but with a plan and a purpose, you know. Okay. Yeah. So, anything here today that you saw that was exciting? What did you think of the event? Yeah, the event was great, and uh, I was glad to be here. And the last couple of years, I was in Vegas with the Veritas conference as well. And uh, it was very good to be able to talk to other peers, and good to get the roadmap from Veritas as to where they are heading uh, going forward and so we can be able to align our roadmap with their roadmap as well. It's good to get the big picture and it's good to have uh, conversations and discussions. Uh, just now we just came out of uh, so many detailed technical discussions. Uh, I'm, I'm excited to be here. So you saw Richard Branson last year. That's right. That was pretty cool, wasn't it? That's he, right. He That's gave right. A great talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, it was great to, he's a great guy and um, he's an he's admirer and seeing him up close and uh, exp explaining his exp experiences and all that stuff was great. It's always good to see billionaires giving back, and I mean that That's right. sincerely. That's so, right. So, Antenna, thanks very much for coming to theCUBE and sharing your experience and your knowledge. I really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. You're very welcome. All right, keep it right there, everybody. We'll be back with our next guest. Right after this short break, we're watching theCUBE from Veritas Solution Days at Central Park, Tavern on the Green. Be right back. Mm -hmm.